Hello and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories, starting with Frankie de Jong, as it has just been reported that Barcelona have communicated to Frankie that he must leave the club. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about Alex Collado, it has been reported that Barcelona are set to renew the 23-year-old La Masia graduate until 2024. We are also going to be discussing on that report. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. In a major development, Barcelona have informed Frankie de Jong that he must leave the club this summer amidst interest from Manchester United. This is according to a report from Spanish outlet Mundo Deportivo. The Spanish publication reported earlier on Thursday that Barca can free up around um, within a range of 30 to 35 million euros on their wage bill with Frankie de Jong's departure. However, the player has been reluctant to leave the club. Barcelona and Manchester United have already reached an agreement in full for Frankie de Jong's transfer, but the player's refusal to depart has been a major thorn in the side. However, as per the report, Manchester United have been putting pressure on Barcelona and the midfielder to get things moving. Barca also need help um, with regard to their financial fair play situation, which has forced them to act. And Barca have now officially informed the young that he has to leave the club this summer and accept the proposal from Manchester United. Why manager Xavi Hernandez is happy to keep him on at the club, he understands the financial situation and the room that the Dutchman's departure would create for Barca to register new players. Hence, he is also ready to sanction the exit. However, in case the young ends up leaving, it is claimed that Xavi would demand Barca to sign replacement preferably Bernardo Silva from Manchester in, uh, Manchester City. As iterated earlier, the Blackburner have agreed terms with Man United over a deal worth 85 million euros, that is 75 million fixed plus 10 million euros variables. With the club now pressuring the young to leave, it remains to be seen if he is willing to change his stance or continues to insist that he wants to stay at the Camp Nou. Crucial days ahead for all parties involved in the deal. From all indication, the Frankie the Young saga is about to take a different turn, a different twist. Um, it seems as though Barca want to use some kind of authority right now to push the Young. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea because my fear is Barca should not bring in a toxic kind of relationship between Frankie the Young's scam and the club, which would not make sense to me, right? Um, Frankie the Young has been professional than ever, like, I mean... At this point in time when his name is being talked about the whole media he's been calm but one thing that he has not been calm about is the fact that he wants to stay at barcelona and now barca wants to go with some kind of authorization on that to push him to leave of course this comes after um, united and barcelona have finally i mean finally come to a full agreement a full agreement like now they have already settled in they are in one accord when it comes to the variables something that they were not really in one accord now both clubs have come to an agreement the variables will be worth 10 million it's not 20 million anymore six is 75 plus 10 million euros unlike um before it was normally 65 plus plus 20 million but barcelona have agreed now for 75 million plus 10 million still making that deal worth 85 million euros so let's see how it goes let's see how the upcoming days will look like after Barca have officially informed frankie de young and his agent to look to go to united to leave barcelona because of financial fair play issues in la liga um, earlier frankie de young was told that you know if he wants to stay at Barca, he must renew or let me say he must take a pay cut and Frankie de Jong's response was, I will not take a pay cut, I will stay. Of course, this comes after reports are saying how Barcelona have been owing Frankie de Jong a lot of money. And normally, Frankie de Jong's salary this upcoming season is supposed to increase very massively according to the clouds that they had. You know, because his salary, most of his salary these past few seasons have been, have been deferred. 
due to the coronavirus um, pandemic that came and most of those players took a pay cut. Frankie Young was supposed to take something better this upcoming season and he had to just refuse it that he cannot take a pay cut because he wants to stay at Barcelona knowing fully well he has a contract with the club. So let's see how it goes if Barcelona will succeed to push him away to Manchester United after a total agreement has been reached. Then moving on to the next story of discussion. Exactly a year ago, Alex Collado was staring at a bleak future at Barcelona as Ronald Koeman sent him back from the preseason tour to complete a loan move to Club Brugge. The deal would fall through and an attempt to send him to Sheffield United on loan on deadline day would also fail, leaving Alex Collado in limbo as he was not registered with the first team nor the B team. Having not played any competitive football until January, Collado joined Granada on loan for the second half of the season and enjoyed a solid spell before returning to the Camp Nou. There were question marks hanging over his future at Barcelona upon his return, but it seems like manager Xavi Hernandez has decided to count on the La Masia graduate and give him a chance to prove himself at the Camp Nou. Now, Mundo Deportivo is reporting that Barcelona have even decided to hand Collado a new contract, extending his stay at the club until the summer of 2024. The 23-year-old's current contract stood to expire next year, 2023. However, impressed by what he has shown so far in pre-season, Barca have decided to prolong his stay by another year. Negotiations with the versatile midfielder scam have already advanced, with the report claiming that an announcement about a renewal is not far away. Collado had been one of the most standout prospects throughout his time at the La Masia and had impressed heavily for the youth teams and Barca Athletic. While he did not have the fate of Kuman, Xavi is ready to back the Spaniard to come good. Barcelona already have Rafinha and Usman Dembele as their frontline options on the right flank, a position that Collado predominantly featured in during the, his youth career. But Javi sees him as an interior midfielder on the right side and the 23-year-old showed signs of his quality in his brief appearance in the friendly against Olot yesterday. Wow, this is interesting. Collado have been a player that have been um, talked about a lot when it comes to his future for next season. Of course, coming from loan at Granada, Collado did not really impress that much, but Barcelona were still convinced that he is still one of us. Xavi Hernandez really likes the player from the word go and he has been there with preseason with the team and what reports are saying is Xavi have been enjoying how he has been performing on preseason, the trainings and everything and Xavi has seen something in him that he likes to, to see further in the upcoming season. Of course, Collado will be so happy to hear about this and um, you know, everybody wants to play and succeed in the senior team, right? So let's see how it goes. Um, we know we have players really like Dembele, Rafinha in the right flank and Collado is very good at that wing as well. So um, there is no way he can come to play. He can have game time with those two players available. So Xavi, according to this report, will use him as an interior midfielder, attacking midfielder. But we all know midfielders as well. We have a lot of midfielders. So from every angle of the game, Collado will have it's so difficult to have game time but if Javin knows what he wants he knows very well when he will use Collado in matches so guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching until next time bye bye